END here. The latest news is that Yuya Watanabe, one of the professional Magic players, also in the Hall of Fame, was disqualified from the Mythic Championship in London. The disqualification came because he had certain cards in his throne deck that were marked. Yes, the sleeves in his throne deck were marked. And the reasoning behind the decision was that not only certain cards were marked, but the throne lands, the most important cards in the throne deck, these particular cards were the marked cards. The throne lands, Urza's power plant, Urza's mine, and Urza's tower. These three lands, once they hit the battlefield in the throne deck, they will produce seven colorless mana, and therefore by turn three you can play your Karn liberated. You can imagine how powerful these and how essential these three cards are to hit the battlefield by turn three. Therefore, suspicion came on Watanabe's deck that these particular cards were marked and therefore he could recognize which card he was going to draw. This video is not related to condemning Watanabe or, or, or defending and I don't frankly care about Watanabe. I'm here to show you how this particular cheat is done and how you can avoid it. In the description below, I am leaving links to other videos. I have a series of cheats in Magic the Gathering how cheats are done and how to avoid them. There are various cheats and if you haven't seen this video, I recommend that you see this video because they will help you a lot in understanding how players cheat and how can you avoid them. So, what is this particular cheat? This particular cheat is the marked card cheat. How it's done? Basically, you need to mark to do a mark on your cards could be any type of mark. If you're playing without sleeve, which I don't recommend, you can do some sort of this type of mark, a small bend in the card. And therefore, when you're going to draw, you know, there's the mark there. And you know that the card that you're going to draw will be a land. I don't recommend this method because you will damage your cards. And also, the mark cards are quite visible. So, what else do players do to mark their cards? A very complicated method and quite professional, which to tell you the truth, I don't see happening in Magic the Gathering, is to use a particular pen. This is only a whiteboard marker, so really and truly. But there are particular pens that you can mark cards and this particular marker will be invisible and will be only visible if you use a certain glasses. As I told you, this is quite professional way how to do it. I don't see happening in Magic the Gathering because the player that is playing this particular deck has to have the glasses worth during playing, which is something in Magic the Gathering I have never seen. But, there's also a but, this can happen, and because technology evolves, this can happen, and we're talking about 1 million price, therefore people will risk it, this can happen with 
certain lenses. They can wear certain lenses on their eyes and therefore they can see the marked cards with their lenses. Usually this is a method used by professional poker players, by cheaters that want to cheat casinos and as I told you, I don't see this happening in matching ticketing. But the technology can evolve and when you offer prices of 1 million, people will do everything to get that money price. So what do you think Watanabe did to mark their cards? I can think of only two methods. The first method is that you take this leaf and you mark them with a particular marker. In this case, I'm going to use a permanent marker. If you mark the sleeves, I'm going to do it like here. If you do a mark, it is quite visibly, but at the end, it's quite barely visible. If you do these type of marks, especially if you use dark sleeves, like I'm doing, you can see it here, there's the mark. If you put your cards there, you can use different different shapes to mark your cards. See, I did a different shape. So I will do a different shape on this particular card. If you use different shapes, when you're playing your deck, you can see that you can see, you know, what card will be drawn next. Also, once you're shuffling, once you're shuffling, you can see which cards you want and put them in front so that you will draw your next card. I believe Watanabe did a trick very similar to this. Also, there's another trick I'm going to show you when marking cards. Let's have an example with another sleeve. You can sleeves put a mark on them, like I'm going to do now. Like this. See, there's a mark there. You put the card in your sleeves, the mark is still there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me you see the mark is still there. This is another way how you can mark your cards. You put a small crins in the sleeve, or another way like this, you can put like this, small crins in your sleeve and therefore when you're going to draw your next card there is your mark there, I don't know if you can see it, it is visible and you know that the next card you're going to draw will be your Elsa power plant, the card that you need for your Tron deck to work. This is how marked cards cheat. This is the marked card cheats. It's done in Magic the Gathering. I don't believe it's a very common cheat because it's a little bit difficult to do and if someone sees your marked cards will report you to a judge like what happened to Mr. Watanabe. How to avoid this cheat? First of all, when someone shuffles the deck always cut the deck always a very very important thing to do if not cutting the chef the deck is you shuffle your opponent's deck this is a very easy and very common way how to deal with cheaters always cut the deck or shuffle the deck also if you notice your opponent looking at the deck 
very very suspicious like always looking at the library so why on why on earth would you look at your arm library if you cannot see the cards because they are bottom therefore there's something wrong and there's nothing wrong in calling a judge a judge can determine if the cards are marked or not if the cards are not marked you can continue the game as normal also if you noticed marks symbols or something suspicious in your opponent's cards call a judge call a judge immediately don't take any action call the judge judges magic the game judges are very professional people they will take the action and they will disqualify your opponent leave me a comment below have you ever encountered this particular cheese during your tournament and here this is there is the section cream button subscribe for my channel for more useful information about magic the gathering and the collectible wet